holidays, everybody. This is Gabriel John Coombs here once again, getting back to Let's Play Super Mario World The Lost Adventure Episode 2 Super Mario World ROM Hack for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. In the last video, we made our way through the, I guess, the first half of World 13, just like the first half of World 6 in the first episode. And hey, we're at the Lost World. Let's see what's new here The Sweet Mountain. We have ice cream. Chocolate. I will say one thing. Chocolate is my favorite ice cream. Vanilla is my second favorite. And strawberry is my third favorite. Look at that. Chocolate and strawberry. We got the Neapolitan colors. I love that. Yeah, the Neapolitan colors. Hey, there's the fin there's the uh, vanilla uh, blocks. Ow! Okay. I really like the waterfalls. It's a neat touch. The, uh, like the vanilla and chocolate waterfalls. I really like that. That is a very, very neat touch. Okay, water. Come on, Mario, jump, hop, you little plumber, hop, hop, hop. Okay, back on vanilla and strawberry ground. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was very well done. Good job, I say, because that's a very interesting level. I really like it. All Worlds Demo. Okay. The two following stages were ported and updated from my very first hack called Super Mario All Worlds, but I canceled it. Okay. So we get a taste of what... Uh, work you did in your very first hack. Okay. Well, I really like the background. I'll say that. The background is a very interesting kind of background. Ah, oh, okay. Those are a little bit harder to predict. Okay, let's see what's out here first before anything else. Okay, the vine just led to like a Yoshi coin or something. Okay. It's a lot of slowdown. I don't know if that's coming from the game or if that's coming from the emulator. Nevertheless, it's a great stage, nonetheless. Wow. 
Now, um, I got a question for, uh, Ice Aches, if Ice Aches, as most of you know, is the creator of this hack. So, I do have a question for Ice Aches. Uh, creator Ice Aches, if you are watching this right now, um, my question to you is, why have you not, uh, completed your very first hack? I really like this level. It actually looks really cool. Why have you not updated this? Or completed that very first hack that you made? Yeah, no. Okay. So, looking at the general characteristics of this particular stage, it's pretty obvious by now this is a vertical stage. There's a lot of climbing that needs to be done. But, that's kind of obvious for a uh, vertical stage, of course. <laughs> okay, we have lava. Guess it makes the stage a bit more dangerous. Okay. Oh wow. Out of all the times I played Super Mario World, I didn't know you can uh, spin jump on the uh, shell guys there. Didn't know that one. Sure, this is easy, sure. I guess maybe that's why the hack never got updated or finished. Maybe it was just too easy. I'll figure it out sometime. But anyway, we reached the halfway point. We're gonna take the top road, actually. And according to what I see, it looks like there's a pipe. Alright. Now what we got going on? And now we have spinies. Okay. Once more, this is pretty darn easy. It's, uh... Avoid the, it's avoid the enemies, pretty much. That's what this stage is, really, is avoid the enemies, by the looks of it. I like the music here. That The music is really cool. Okay, just thread the needle.
There's a lot of enemies here, I've noticed. Yeah, I kind of knew I'd get caught eventually. Come on, rewinds, work for me. There we go. All right. What is next? NES Era 2. All right. Super Mario Brothers. Okay. So is this going to be like... Uh, Okay, so is this gonna be like the uh, last adventure episode one where we're like in a grassy area? Nope, we are underground this time. Okay. And I like the remix. How very retro. And just like the retro games, you cannot scroll back. But hey, that's what using the awesome ZSNES emulator is for. If I need to, I can rewind to go back. Okay. It's not too terribly bad getting through this, but, uh, oh, hi, N-E-S, Nintendo Entertainment System, baby, the wonderful 8-bit glory. <laughs> Okay, I was not expecting a Hammer Brother to uh, be here in the underground area. And, as always, I hate the retro uh, enemies. Because the retro enemies are hard to get rid of. Super Mario Brothers! Who? Okay, and we got the 16-bit graphics as usual. And it looks like we're going to be in a desert area. Okay. I am correct. But that means this video is going to be longer because for those of you who haven't watched my Super Mario Brothers uh, 2 playthroughs, the desert is the hardest place for me. Since, Super Since the desert area is the hardest place for me, Imagine how long it's going to take just to get through this one section. Especially when there is quicksand. I know I hate quicksand. Fortunately for me, that quicksand was not too terribly bad to get through. Hey, come back. There we go. Is there a secret down here? There is. Okay, maybe not. Come on. 
on, Mario. You can do it. All right. Come down. Okay. Can't get in any of the pipes, by the looks of it. I still find it funny how this is the NES era, but we're using 16-bit graphics. That's kind of strange. But if that's what I, if that's what creator i6 wants, then more power to him. This isn't my hack. I didn't make it. I don't have the mind of. Uh, I don't have i6 mind. I assume we're almost to the end of this uh, section, the uh, Super Mario Brothers 2 section. Yeah, yeah, we are. Okay. Super Mario Brothers 3. And we're in Giant Land. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's the midway point. I thought that was actually the goal point then. That would have been the shortest Super Mario Bros. 3 level in history. And I wouldn't have been all too pleased with it. Ooh, whoa, hi, 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 go away. Stupid bonsai bills. Curses! Go away, you stupid piranha plant. Hurry up and close your uh, mouth. There we go. Yay! I killed a bonsai bill. Well, there's like no time to react to that, so... We're gonna have to do without a fire flower, isn't we? Okay, I really like this, just saying. Fine, so let's see where this takes us. It takes us to a Yoshi coin. And I'm running out of time. That's not good. All right. Well, that was actually really fun, actually. Actually, actually. Speed City. Alright, let's do this. By the looks of it, I have very little time to waste, so let's be quick, shall we?
Okay, this is fun. I like this. Okay, we've reached the snag. There we go. Oh, whoa, hi. I had forgotten. Blue coins are never your friends. Do not trust them. We're running short on time. We can do this. Actually, no, probably not. No, we can't. I can't go swimming. Okay, jump cut. All right, that was really hard. One second remaining, man. Okay, Snez Era 2, let's do this. Super Mario World. But wait, this is Super Mario World. Poor planning. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I mean. Can we get in this pipe? Nope, no we can't. Door it is. Okay. We have a Yoshi, a green Yoshi, and we lost him, and it's Koopa Central apparently. This reminds me of that very painful uh, level in the original game, where it's nothing but Koopas. Come on, we can do this without losing Yoshi. Okay, so we lost Yoshi, but we can still do this. I'm sure of it. See, we already got a fire flower. All right. All right. So, down we go. Hope I get a power soon. Oh, but we don't need to. What's next? Yoshi's Island, hey? And it's winter. Well, I guess it's appropriate, considering it's December. I 
I do not like those bandits, though. Bandits are very annoying. Okay, let's try this again because it decided not to cooperate. Okay. This just goes to show how clumsy of a Mario player I am. Well, I'm a, cl I'm a clumsy player at everything, so what am I talking about? I rely on speed to get through my stages. When I play a game, I rely on how fast I can get the game done. Come on, Mario. You can do this. There you go. That is how you do it. the wintry theme it's very appropriate considering it is December right now plus I love winter so <laughs> I love everything wintry and Christmassy and all that good jazz of course you guys all know that I sang Christmas songs for you guys during Christmas Day all right the lost levels No doors. Can we get in pipes? Yeah, okay. And we have retro Goombas. Awesome. Whoa, hi. Poison Mushroom. And just uh, like the retro games, I cannot scroll back. Notice the problem? I can't scroll back. Nah, one hammer bro killed me. <laughs> Losing a mushroom is a, is a very big sacrifice, but let's face it, what else can you do when you're being attacked by a hammer, bro? Okay. Ah. I'm such a clumsy Mario player, I don't like it. Trust me, I plan on doing a replay of this game sometime later, so I will do a lot better by then. I really like the retro idea, though. I always liked the uh, retro Mario games. They were so much fun. Alright. Oh, not a bridge. Please, no surprise fish. Please. I don't want a poison mushroom. Please. Thank you. No surprise fish. Whoa, hi. Using a flag to finish off the stage. That is cool. Oh. 
What's next? Seasonal adventure. By entering in the red pipes, you will be able to travel through to four seasons. Summer, normal, fall, strong wind, winter, frozen, spring, more water. Alright, so let's just continue on for now and see what we can find. Okay, so we do need a red pipe to continue, for example. Okay, let's see what we can get. Alright, we got the fall. And they're correct. Fall is strong winds. But it's still not enough to get us to that particular... Okay. No, no it is not. So we're gonna have to try something different now, anyway. we? Next. Winter. Winter is frozen. Then we have a Koopa. Frozen Koopa. It seems the mechanics work a bit like the uh, Kirby level. One of the Kirby levels from the Kirby Superstar game. It was... In Kirby Superstar, there was a level where you had to get to the two wispy woods and you had to go through the four seasons to get to them. This is kind of the same thing, but it looks... What... Okay, let's see how far we can get before we have to change... I want to see how far we can get before we have to change the uh, seasons again. Because really, we haven't looked into uh, spring yet. Unless the start of the stage was spring, then that's different. Okay, Chucks and Koopas everywhere. I like how the Koopas actually have a hood on them, like a winter hat or something. It's a very neat touch. I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna say this is a good time to change the seasons again. Okay, spring. Okay, we have to run. Running it is. There we go. Well, again, let's see how far we can get before we actually have to change the seasons. So that's how I'll go about this stage when I go to do the replay for this game. I'll try to... Um, go as far as I can without uh, changing the seasons. Oh, come on. Really? Surprise fish? Why would you do that? And there's the goal. Why did you make the goal in a, surpri in a surprise fish section?
Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Ha! What's next? Handheld Era 2. Alright. Wario Land. AKA Super Mario Land 3. I never ever played Wario Land, so this is all these enemies and the stage graphics are completely new to me. I think the only games that uh, involved Wario that I ever played was uh, Wario Land 4 and WarioWare Inc., both for the Game Boy. So, yeah. I apologize if I'm not talking too much. I guess there's just nothing to talk about right now. Usually I got stuff to talk about, but I actually don't have anything to talk about today. New Super Mario Brothers for the NDS. And we're not in the wintry area this time. It looks like we're in a jungle area. The swamp area. Alright. Wet, poison, water, and all. Sounds good with me. Plus, I like Nintendo DS graphics. Very high def, uh, high techy, all that good jazz. Smiley face. Looks so much more cute and adorable. Why? Okay. further are we? Oh, okay, we're at the end. <laughs> Next is Mario Brothers. I expect I expect something completely different from and I'm gonna get something completely different. Sounds good with me. And I like how we're using all the uh, Mario Brothers enemies, like uh, the flies and the uh, them guys. Yeah, the guys they even get angry. They're even getting angry. That is a very neat touch, and I love it. <laughs> they are getting angry. I like that. Very neat touch. Okay. 
Okay. I'm being a very lucky person by uh, tempting fate one too many times. Oh, I can't use the power block? Why not? That would have made it way too easy. All right. Woo! All righty. Three di- Wait, whoa. Three-dimensional era. How do you get 3D games in a 2D game? Let's see. Super Mario... 64. Uh, well, you can climb trees. That's a plus. You can wall jump here by pressing the jump button on any wall. Yes, yes you can. That is cool. Got some 64 music, got some flomps based off of Super Mario 64, that's a neat touch. So since this is the bob -omb Battlefield music, I fully expect bob -ombs here. Not chomps, bob -ombs. Okay, very fun. The hitbox on the uh, 64 uh, flops is really weird. I have no idea where that shot me to, uh, I don't care, bob -ombs. Well, I expected bob -ombs and, uh, well, I wanted to see bob -ombs here, I got my wish, didn't I? The hitboxes on these cannonball things are really weird as well. Alright, what's next? Super Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Sunshine, okay. With Rico Harbor. Press the up button of your D-pad to use Flood and you can refill them by going underwater. Yeah, we got Flood. That is cool. Yeah, that is cool. But it shows like an invisible life meter or something. I don't see a life meter. That's kind of strange. the right way we're just going to assume it and move on and it seems we can still wall jump just in case okay it's right up there there's a uh let me get my mouse 
We're at next to the lives. There's like a 24 thing. That's the uh, life bar. Or life energy or whatever. Okay, yeah, poor flood is really wonky to use. Well, that's one way to get through it. Okay. Super paper, super paper Mario. Okay. And I love this remix. Hammer. Yes, the hammer. The almighty hammer. Oh, okay. No, don't make me lose my hammer. Fine, I'll lose my hammer. But I will lose it out of honor and respect. Alrighty. Now, I will say this. The bullet bills are definitely not part of Super Paper Mario. Oh, okay. I was wondering what happened. I accidentally paused the emulator. Whoops. My apologies. There is major slowdown because there is everything everywhere. I had forgotten there was even spikes there. My apologies for all the rewinds, but uh, it's kind of recommended. These levels are hard. Okay. Wow. Next, Chaotic Network. Oh no, it's the deadly Windows 7. Everyone knows Windows 8 is far superior, so Windows 7 is out to get revenge. Oh no. So yeah, Chaotic Network. We're inside a network. In this case, Windows 7, okay. Follow coins, Mario. Ignore the wonky hitboxes. And once more, the rewinds are not helping. Come on. We have a door up there. 
But but it looks like we can't get up there. Give me a power, guys. Okay, these are ladders. The little scroll bars. They're ladders. I like that. That adds a little bit more difficulty to the level, but I kind of like it that way. I like hard levels. I like that. Give myself a challenge sometimes. Maybe that's why I own a challenge run channel. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. Okay, exactly how am I going to survive this? Oh, like that. Perfect. I guess that's why they call a Windows firewall. What is with me in trying to make uh, network jokes? Even though I know I will surely fail. Okay. In order to damage Master Hand, you have to jump on him, then press the run button to smash him. With Mega Man 9 music. Okay. So this is easy, sure. Whoa, hi. Was not expecting Master Hand to do that. more careful of his attacks. Sure, this is an easy battle. As long as you be very careful of his attacks, it's not too terribly bad. No poking. That's still not fair, though. Okay, that's new. Stop coming up with attacks there, Master Hands. Goodbye. Okay, that's not bad. And that's it for the Lost World. Let's continue 
through the rest of World 13. Let's do it. Thank <music> you. 